I am a professor of nursing at Finger Lakes and the nursing department chairperson. Okay, great. Um, so the nursing department chairperson, tell us a little bit about what that, what that means and what that is. So I oversee the day-to-day -day operations of the nursing program. It's really busy. I can imagine. <laughs> no two days are the same. Um, I do have teaching that I'm responsible for. So I have to do that as well as, you know, maintain the program and all of um, our accreditation reports and things like that. Wonderful. So um, Lenore was telling me a little bit about um, grad rates. I know she had sent a press release, um, but right. she was talking about for FLCC in particular, um, how the grads were, were doing really well um, and had a pass rate of 93%. Right. Um, so can you kind of break down what that means and why that's such a such a good and impressive thing and such a should be a really, you know, like a point of pride for the Finger Lakes. Okay, sure. So um, our program is an RN program. So we prepare students to pass the NCLEX, which is a national licensing exam. And what the 93% means is 93% of our students who graduated and took the NCLEX passed. So um, essentially, that means that they're really well prepared by the program and the faculty to pass the licensing exam. I mean, how does that make you feel as someone in your position that, you know, we right. have to use? Yeah, it's a lot of hard work and we've been working really hard. So it's very rewarding to have a 93% pass rate. Absolutely. And um, talk about what it takes to become an RN. Why is it challenging and like what goes into it? So um, to be a nurse, the first thing is you really have to be willing to work hard and be smart. You, you know, it takes a lot of intelligence to um, be able to do the coursework. And it's not just um, learning something and be able to repeat it back to somebody. So it's not like memorizing a list of words and then you take a test and you know what those words mean. It's really, you have to learn the content and then you have to be able to apply that content in several different situations. So that I think is what really makes it hard uh, for students because they're not used to being able to, uh, being able, they're not used to having to test application. Right. If that makes sense to you. So the the application pieces, they have to learn everything they're being taught and then they have to apply it. And I gotcha. think that's where, you know, students struggle and find it difficult. Once they get into the swing of things and they know how to do that, you know, they know what is expected. It's a little bit easier, but right. it's still a challenging curriculum, right? We, well, yeah. I mean, I think it's challenging to be a nurse, to be a nurse, right? Like, because, right. and for students, they don't have that, um, you know, patient, they, they, you know, they're, they're young, so they haven't seen a lot of patients and actually been where they have to go in and make decisions for, you know, that affect ultimately people's health. Um, right. so or you take care of people and be, you know, personally, you know, really involved with personal care, um, which can yes. be really difficult. Yeah. And um, so for for the FLCC, um, why do you think that your program provided such a good outcome? Like what what's unique, I guess, or specific about FLCC's nursing program that um allowed for this to happen? Like it's, if you can get specific, like what have, what about the program is different? What do people learn and, and how is that helpful to them? So we've made some curriculum, curriculum changes where we've actually, um, instead of just basing their grade off test, we've actually had them do different kinds of assignments where they're actually practicing, applying what they're learning prior to the test. And I think that has really helped the students retain 
the information and, and have practice at um, applying the information. The other thing I think that we did, and this was a result of COVID is, you know, when COVID hit, everybody had to go completely online, which was really difficult. But now that we're kind of through the worst of that, we still do some of our class online, but then we have the students come in. And when they come into class, it's not just a class, a lecture class, but we have activities where they're actually applying what they've learned. So it's, it's a much more interactive class that the students have to participate in. So like, what are some of the things they have to do? So we might have like an, what we call an unfolding case study where the students would be given a situation uh, with a patient and they run through that. And then the instructor may say, you know, what is the really important information that we've given you so far? What are the cues that you need to know, you need to identify to take care of this patient? And then um, they may give them some more information about, well, this has now happened with the patient, or this is what the provider has ordered. And then the student has to then also incorporate that additional information and identify what's important. And then we move it to the next step of, okay, what is your plan? What are your nursing actions? How are you going to care for this patient so that the outcome is better so that the patient actually you know, improves their health? Gotcha. And so for RNs, um, RNs can prescribe medication, correct? No. No? A nurse practitioner can. Gotcha. But an RN can't. Gotcha. I had, okay, I was, so, um, but they do have to learn about medications, right? Oh, absolutely. They have to know the medications because that's a lot of their job as well. They have to pass medications. And so, of course, if you're giving someone a medication, you have to know what it's supposed to do so that you can see it, assess whether it's actually working. And then of course, if we're looking for side effects, you know, that may be occurring from that medication as well that we may not want to occur. And in terms of this uh, this class of, of people who did well on this exam, um, you know, we, we live in a time when there's a whole bunch of things going on with healthcare and staffing shortages that we hear about every day, not just in New York state, but on, you know, kind of, I feel like a national level. Um, so, but this, we have this new group now of people that are being successful. Um, I mean, is this, does this signify to you a positive change in a way or like, what does it signify to you? Well, we've always, we've always had good pass rates. So, you know, it's maintaining those, but it's also knowing that we're preparing nurses to go into the workforce as a beginning practitioner to be able to care for patients safely. Gotcha. This isn't, it's normal for you to have a good success rate when yes. with this kind of thing, but you've recently kind of changed the curriculum a little bit. Right. And um, last year, I think our pass rate was 87. And so this year it was 93. And I think like every school, you know, people were concerned because of COVID and how it affected students' education and their clinical experiences. What were the outcomes really going to look like? So it was nice to see that we came out the other side of that and we were still, you know, doing well. Yeah, exactly. And um, you now when you have these uh young professionals kind of branching out into a new area of their life. Um, considering the world that we live in and COVID and staffing issues and all of the things, like I said, that have gone on, do they learn, like, are there, I guess, cause you said the curriculum changed, but does the curriculum, do you talk about those things with students, like current events and things that are, that are happening? Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and, and you know, there's, there's, there's been a nursing shortage for a long time. And certainly I think COVID has exacerbated that somewhat, but I think more so COVID brought it to the forefront and to the media. So it was covered. So before, even gotcha. though there was a nursing shortage, nobody really knew what that meant. 
right? We, we've heard it in the past, but what does that really mean? Right. And I think with COVID, you know, it the media brought out what that really means. Yeah. And now we have issues, you know, like in um, emergency rooms where, I mean, they just really need the staff, medical right. professionals from all levels. And um, so, yeah, I guess what's the next step now for you? Like, do you just, are you um, working with a new group or are you kind of like bidding adieu to, to them? And so, so kind of, um, do you celebrate this at all? We do. It's, it's a lot of hard work to teach in a nursing program and maintain the excellence and the quality that you want. And so every year we're making changes and we're reviewing our curriculum. Um, we did start to roll out a new curriculum last fall that is a concept-based curriculum. So, and we just opened a brand new state-of-the-art um, uh, nursing lab. So um, that's been really exciting. And then in January was the first time we accepted a new class into the nursing program. So typically we only um, admitted students in September and starting this January, we're admitting students in September and in January. Wonderful. Okay, very uh, cool. So you know, we're very fortunate that we have faculty, like you said, that really care about the students and it's a smaller um, institution, which is also nice. And the student, the faculty really get to know the students on a personal level. And that's not just in nursing, but like you said, across the board. So I think that's what also makes us special, mm -hmm. um, which is, is really heartwarming, right? We would want that for our community. Absolutely. So, all right. I think you did a great job. Is there anything that I should have asked you that I didn't or anything else that you wanted to add? I don't think so. We're really, you know, we're just really excited about all the changes here and keeping up and, you know, we love our new lab and it's, things are just going really well. So we're really proud of the faculty and all the hard work that everybody's put into it.